Hey everyone, welcome back to my studio. I'm back from my vacation, yay. Had a great time, uh, met some really good people and got to go to the beach a lot. So just had a really fun time. But I'm glad to be back home and back in my studio where I can create for you and help you guys learn how to do paint, uh, paint pouring. Sorry, oops, moving the camera. I have a new uh, tripod set up today. So if it's a little wobbly, I'm still trying to figure out the kinks in it, but I wanted to give you guys a close up overhead view of uh, strainer flower. So that's going to be our video for today. I already have my base coat down, which is my Artist Law Flow Black and Flow Troll and some water. Just to thin it down, you want it to be like heavy cream when you're putting it on your canvas. And you want to make sure you get enough paint off of it and that all the sides are covered. So um, today I'm going to be using um, some of my bottle paints, which I've mixed up with Floetrol and Glue All. Uh, I will put the recipe in the description. The description is just that little down triangle that you see right underneath the video, and that will give you all of the information you need. All right, so here we go. We're going to start with some pearl. This is uh, Deco Art Pearl. And I'm going to go in with, um, this is my dioxazine purple and prism violet mixed. And I have some iridescent medium in there. All right, on top of that, I'm going to go in with, uh, this is Folk Art Color Flash Purple. And then some PBO Blue Green Iridescent. You know, I've got to get my turquoise in there. So you can see it, it's already starting to come out the strainer. This is a special strainer that I found at Walmart that they haven't been making since the pandemic, but I keep checking every week to see if they're gonna be back in stock, hopefully. It's got holes in the bottom and then it has holes on the sides. So the petals come out really nice. And it almost gives a, like an open cup look to the petals. So I think it's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to add a little bit more white. I <laughs> I started another video, and I, I ended up finishing the flower. I think I'm going to do a three a triptych of these. They'll all be a little different, but same colors. And uh, I'll show you guys when I get all three of them done. Anyhow, I digress. I didn't erase enough videos off my phone, so a couple minutes into the video, it stopped filming. So as you can see, that's coming out very nicely. Uh, I think I want to go a couple more rounds because I need to get it out here. Uh, on the, oh, I'm pointing, but you guys can't see. I have you too close up. Um, let's see if I can put you up a little bit higher. I need to get within like an inch or inch and a half of the outer edge of the canvas. Go back in with some more turquoise. And I'm going to be spinning this. This is light blue, if I didn't say that before, sorry. Light blue by Artist Loft. And uh, in with some of the folk art. That folk art is kind of taken over. But that's okay. We'll spin it out and it'll be fine. All right. I also wanted you guys to see when I take this strainer off because there's holes in the bottom, you get a really cool effect. From it. I'm just going to give that a few more, not a few more minutes, but a little bit more time to seep out of the strainer so I don't have so much in the middle. So yeah, we got to go to the beach. We went, uh, Mona and I and her husband and a couple other friends went shell hunting and we found a bunch of shells and um, played left, right, center almost every night and that was a riot. 
don't know if you've ever played that game, but it's really fun. And uh, what else did we do? Oh, we went and saw the horses, the wild horses on uh, Corolla Beach. They're um, horses that have been there since uh, the 1600s, I think he said. So pretty cool. They're kind of like our horses here. Salt River horses are wild. And uh, there's a conservation group that helps take care of them and make sure they're okay, but lets them be out there free and wild. So that's pretty cool. All right. Now that I've babbled on about my trip, <laughs> let me take this off. So I'm just going to lift it up. I have my other hand ready over here to put underneath and get it off as quick as you can. All right. So I've got a pretty cool center going on. Let's pop some of those bubbles. I love when the bubbles pop. And sometimes the centers work out and sometimes they don't, but um, you know, that's just part of the deal. All right, guys, I'm gonna uh, move to the other camera, so I'm gonna pause you for just a minute. Okay, we're back. I think we're filming, yep, we are. All right, so I'm gonna spin this. I wanna tilt it back a little bit. Try to get it kind of centered when you, before you start spinning. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> I had a lot of black on there. Uh, okay, <laughs> it's not hitting anything important. Oh my goodness. Lots of black. And I tilted off a lot of it. But uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Let's give, I'm going to give it one more spin back the other way. And I think I'm going to pull in that center. Let me find my paintbrush. I use the, paint, the end of a paintbrush because it glides a lot better on the surface. So all I do is go in between the petals and pull that in. If your center gets a little wonky when you spin out, um, you can also do this. It just helps bring the flower back to the center. And then I'm just gonna dip. Get my glove off, because that works better. So I'm just dipping my finger like Fiona does, because she is the master of flowers. All right. So that looks really good. I'm happy with that one. Um, the color flash is gonna be iridescent when it dries and so is the PBO, so it should have a really good shimmer to it. And see how you kind of get cells with that, not only from the pearl, but also from the, the way it flows out of that strainer. It gives it like an open cup feel to it. All right, so that's number two flower. I'll have to do a third one, and then I'll show you all three of them when I get them done. And uh, you'll see how different they are, but same colors, and I'm gonna, they'll be a triptych. So they can either hang them vertical, or you could hang them horizontal. Um, I have three out in my living room, and I just keep replacing them with other three when I get rid of the ones that are up there, uh, sell them, or do a giveaway for them. Um, and they look really nice, huh? Even if they're not the same, um, same exact flower or same exact color, they look cool, kind of hung together, kind of a grouping. So there you go, guys. Uh, hope you have a good week. I'm off to Vegas now, so I'm going to try and get a video out probably next Tuesday with Mona. And um, I hope you guys, I hope to see you there uh, with my next video. So have a good week. Please like, share, and subscribe. And please go and hit that uh, notification button so you get notification of all my videos. Talk soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye. I almost forgot to do a close-up for you guys. There's that center. Some got, got some cells going on there.
those are really cool little cells there and you can see there's a little bit of shimmer probably from the pearl all right so there's your close-up pretty little flower i sound like bob ross talk to you guys soon bye